What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome for the very first time. I feel like I'm at a point where it's time to reintroduce myself. So if you're new here, my name is Alicia and I am a first year medical student at a US allopathic medical school. It sounds really crazy to say, like it's very surreal, but it is real. Um, today is August 1st. It is a Sunday and my first day of medical school is tomorrow. So I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about how I'm feeling, where my head is. I think tomorrow's lecture is very much introductory. I just want to share um, the highlights of my orientation week with you guys. I was going to do a independent video on orientation week, um, but I just didn't have enough footage. So here's that. slides that have been uploaded it seems like we're going to start with an introduction to this first module and I don't know exactly what this first module entails but it seems like it's going to basically focus on like a super broad overview of like everything we're gonna learn um, just kind of an overview of like the human body so I don't know exactly what to expect there and I'm not sure if it's kind of a totally introductory course and then we start getting into the systems. I think that's how it's going to be because on our schedule we have this big block first and then we have all the individual systems. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to class or not but I'm going to start by going to class at least for the first two weeks. Um, in the morning I plan to get up and go to the gym. I did that almost every day during orientation week. The only days I didn't it was because I was so sore because it's my first time in a while getting back into the gym. But um, yes, lecture for me begins at 9 a.m. So I'm really excited, but also nervous, um, just because everyone always says you don't know what you don't know and you can't necessarily prepare for med school. So it's like, just bring it on, like bring on the heat. But I guess I'll know soon enough. Guys, as you can see, I'm sweating, and no, it is not just from climbing the stairs. Um, the gym was great. I mean, I've never been a morning gym person. I tried for one week in undergrad, and that did not last. So I'm at the start of my second week of doing the whole morning thing, and although it's not natural to me, it feels good. It feels good to start my day this way, and it also feels good to know that I did it, and, um, you know, not be pushing it off in the evening and then not get to it. So now I'm about to make a smoothie. And I'm gonna get ready and head to school. So I'm officially finished with my first day of med school and I put that in quotes because like I thought today was definitely a super introductory day. Um, we had a lecture from 9 to 11 that was just kind of an intro and overview of our first module. Um, and then we had not even a lecture, maybe a 10 minute conversation. Apparently to accompany our lectures, we're going to have clinical cases that we are presented with every week. Um, and we may talk about them in small groups, but we will always come together at the end of the week um, and the professor will talk about whatever is most relevant there. So um, that was scheduled to be from 11 to 12 today, but literally we were out by like 12, I'm sorry, not 12, 11.05 maybe. I get the 
vibe that basically they're gonna kind of like ease us into the speed of med school, which I think can be really helpful um, because I think wherever we start is still going to be above where we were in undergrad. And then once they ramp it up, it's gonna be almost like a gradually increasing as opposed to going from zero to 100. Um, it's still gonna be crazy, I feel like. It's gonna be like zero to 50 and then 50 to 100, but. So tomorrow will be um, lecture material. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start today with a method that I was thinking of trying last night. Um, it just wasn't really relevant for today's material. Um, so I wanna look over the slides, um, maybe see if I can find some osmosis videos that correlate to the material just to get a preliminary understanding um, and then make some Anki cards, yada yada, and call it a day. Hello friends. So it is Tuesday, I think. Yes. Wait, is it Tuesday? See, I feel like I've already been in med school for like two months, but it's been two days. So basically, <laughs> wow. So basically, at first I was just gonna leave it on at, can I speak? I was just gonna record the first day of med school because it just seemed like a good topic. But um, as I told you guys, the first day was super introductory. We didn't even go over any like real material. So last night, which was Monday, was my first time having to actually like prepare for a lecture. And tonight is the second time. I can tell you now last night was a bust. It was a complete fail, like it just, bad all bad all around tonight was only microscopically better um yeah and the crazy thing <laughs> here's the crazy thing the crazy thing is right now they're like oh this is not at all the speed of med school we're just easing you in <laughs> what <laughs> so um i just have to laugh at myself because uh, I know it gets better, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's 11 p.m. I've just now, quote, finished everything. Not really. I wish I had more time to study some of, like, the lecture material that wasn't clear to me. But um, I'm tired right now. So tomorrow I will talk to you guys about what went wrong today, what went wrong yesterday, so today was day three of lectures and it's just been getting worse and worse every single day um today we had an intro to the nervous system um that yeah i don't know what to say i feel like if there's anything i'm taking away of just these first three days um it's that you have to be very flexible um and assess when something isn't working I so for example like my first day of really trying to study was Monday evening. Um, that didn't go very well. That didn't go very well because I tried to study in a group and as cool as everybody was, it just wasn't the kind of environment that I needed to really focus on material and hone in on what I was learning. Um, so the next day I said, okay, I definitely need to study on my own. Um, and what went wrong there were a couple of things. So for one, I definitely got caught up in the trap of getting stuck on one, um, like idea that just was not clear to me and I probably literally spent like an hour and a half on it um, and that's just an hour and a half that could have been divided among other tasks that don't take as long but could have been completed in that time. Um, the other thing was just that I chose to start by reviewing that day's material and that may work for me once I become a little bit more efficient in pre-reading and then um, you know, lecture, just taking away what I need from there. But right now it's not working for me. I literally spent like all day or all afternoon yesterday just trying to understand the day's lecture and I didn't walk away with an understanding. And then I didn't really prepare very well for today's lecture, which maybe if I had done that, today's lecture wouldn't have been um, so confusing. So today I am gonna try to operate in a certain order. My goals are to review my Anki cards for the topics discussed on Monday and Tuesday. And then I want to do um, an independent assignment that it's more just for our understanding, but it is like something we have to finish by our test day. Um, so I want to do that. And then I'm going to look at 
um, some osmosis videos for tomorrow to try to jumpstart my learning um, for tomorrow's topics. And then I'm going to hopefully, like every time I make a plan now, I'm just like, this may not happen this way. But if the plan goes perfectly, then I will spend time on really digesting and understanding today's material and I can spend the rest of my time doing that as opposed to getting caught up in that for like four or five, six hours and then like doing nothing else. So that's the plan. I'll let you guys know how well it worked. Bye. So I'm checking in before going to bed. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> this morning I did not go to the gym because I was up pretty late last night studying um, and I was tired already from the day before and I just felt like I can't keep compounding, you know, the lack of sleep day in and day out and expect good results. So um, I slept in today to 7.30. <laughs> uh, I started studying around like 1, 1 1.15. So that's a lot of study. Um, anyway, even though today, again, I was studying until about 9, 9.30, the reason why I felt better about today was because I had to start studying later because we had required um, lectures that went until 3 o'clock. So basically, we had the 9 to 12, which the 9 to 12 lectures are not required, but for the first week at least, I want to go to lectures. So I went to that, then we had something required from one to three. So we really only had time to like get, get lunch. Um, so I wasn't home until, um, I don't know, maybe 3.30. And I studied for maybe 45 minutes or so um, before I was pretty hungry and went and made myself some food and I took the opportunity while I was away from studying to just do some other things that needed to be done like unloading the dishwasher um doing some laundry and um just straightening up the kitchen a little bit you can't just let the rest of your life go down the drain <laughs> um so anyway that was probably like a 30 to 45 minute diversion um so I really don't think I started studying until like maybe four. And so that puts me at about five to five and a half hours of studying. We're getting towards the end of the week. Um, we do not have a lecture on Friday. Um, we just have like an intro to anatomy. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can really just get caught up and get the answers to some of these questions that I have. I'm pretty tired. So I am gonna go to sleep now so that I can get up in the morning and go to the gym. All right, guys, that's it for today. Bye. All right, what's up, guys? It is Thursday, August 5th. I did check in with you earlier. Um, it is now 9.35 and I finished um, studying actually at nine. I took some time to call my dad, talk to him for a little bit, so Today is a better day. Um, I actually took a nap today, a really long one. I was pretty tired and the plan was just to take a power nap just to give me enough energy to get through studying um, because when you're really tired, you're gonna just not study very efficiently and you're gonna lose so much time. Um, so just staying well rested is gonna pay dividends. Um, in the long run but I was like okay let me just get some energy so I can go for a few hours and so I was supposed to wake up at um three and I woke up at like 4 30 <laughs> so I started I, I started studying uh no I woke up at four I think and I started studying around 4 30 so from 4 30 to 9 5 30 6 30 7 30 8 30 is about four and a half hours so I spent four and a half hours studying today that is definitely a huge improvement on previous days where one day I was studying from like 1 to 11 but I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that today was a good day and there's going to be good days and bad days um, if I'm being honest, you know, two days ago, I was really, really, really frustrated, um, because there were just concepts that weren't making sense to me. The practice questions I was doing, I just didn't know the answer. I had no clue. 
and it just felt really deflating um, because I felt like, oh, I've studied, I've studied, I've studied, and yet here I am. So that was a bad day, and um, I just kind of had to deal with it. And today's a good day. Hey guys, so this is probably going to be the video to round out my recording for this week, the first week of med school. Um, today, we went into the anatomy lab, we met our table mates, we saw our cadavers, we didn't really like uncover them or anything like that. Um, it was literally just like getting us oriented to where the lab is, the lab procedures, the rules, the do's, the don'ts. Um, and Monday, so today is Friday, it's August the 6th, so on Monday we are going to have our first um, anatomy lab where we are going to be doing dissection. So um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of surreal to be like in an anatomy lab because I feel like anatomy lab is one of the things about med school that makes it really feel like, okay, we're actually on our way to being a doctor. Because the lectures, even though they're different from undergrad lectures, that's something that's very familiar. Um, going to lectures is something that you're just like, oh, everyone does this, you know? It doesn't necessarily feel specific to like your dream of being a doctor. So yeah, like that was really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be able to see some of these structures that we're learning about actually within you know a, a real body um so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one and if there's anything specific you want to know more about any questions you have go ahead and leave those down below in the comment section don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you next